Hello and welcome back to Let's Play on Total War Free Kingdoms with Gongdu on Legendary Difficulty. Where last time we left off, we had expanded from our copper mine, taken the large town of Wudu, the silk trader of Wudu, and then the horse pastures of Jincheng, taken out Ma Tong as well. But now we are definitely under threat of Dongzhou, well, we're under threat from many people, but Dongzhou being the um, major contender here, I think. Then again, we also have Han Sui just to our west as well. But we have our army nearby. I kind of need to replenish a little bit faster than this. I, I'm tempted to run back to Wudu because it seemed like we were replenishing much faster there. But I don't know if that's smart or not. I don't know where we're going to be expecting Lu Bu from. From what I've seen in the past in other campaigns and such, I, he usually comes from like up here. I'm pretty sure he starts like up here or something. Because this starts as a Yellow Turban Rebel... Yellow Turban Rebel town. Um... And I'm pretty sure he just goes there and takes it. But now that we've taken this, he's yeah. You know, I guess he could come from anywhere. I don't know. Also, we are already building something here. I could upgrade the horse pastures, which increases or decreases our upkeep cost for cavalry units, which is useful. I also want to recruit or change this unit over to a melee cav. But in honest honesty, in all honesty, even um, I'm not too worried about it. Like. Melee cav, or I'd rather have melee cav because they're certainly better in melee, as you might expect. Um, but the, despite their horrible melee stats, they are still fairly significantly solid at charging in the back of enemy units. Their, their stats might not be as insane, but they'll still do quite a bit of damage. Um, so that's good. I <laughs> mean, looking at their stats, literally the only thing that's better is their speed. Uh, health doesn't is the same because these guys are just wounded. If I compare them to them, actually these guys are, despite having 60 men, which is a full unit, they're still wounded. That's interesting. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Anyway, yeah, I'm not going to bother upgrading them, so I'll, I'll upgrade the town right now. And we had a whole bunch of items to give away. Uh, that follower is not going anywhere, because that's just horrible. Then again, yeah, no, it's for the whole army as well. The thing is, like, if that was for just the general himself, I'd be like, alright, I can probably live with that. But for the entire army, 25% fatigue resistance. If it was 5% or something, like, oh, alright, fair enough. But 25, your army gets, fi like... A fourth of the time, or, or, or I don't even know, like it gets it gets one fourth faster tired. I don't even know what I'm trying to say right now. It just gets tired way faster than it usually does, and that's not good. Um, anyway, do we have any? We have a lot of more instincts. We don't. Well, I guess I can give you instincts, even though instinct gives you melee damage and recruitment cost. I guess yeah, it's fine for a healer. Um, and your satisfaction goes up. I suppose the only other person that's unhappy is you, but you already have a good thing there. Uh, yeah, that doesn't give any satisfaction. You are on my, uh, plus nine. Lack of purpose. I need to get a second army. I suppose I can't afford a second army. If I were to recruit him, I would simply be paying for those units. I could just recruit him somewhere and then get rid of the units. Just have him as a dude. I could even run him around and start taking random towns from Yellow Turban Rebels, but there's probably not many around, so I don't know how useful that would really be. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, just to get rid of the lack of purpose, I could possibly do something. We have low public order in Voodoo. Oh, fuck me, that's going down fast. Faction support, alright, well that should be changing pretty rapidly. Nine turns, fuck me, that's not rapid at all. Alright, well, I'm probably going to have to go back here then. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, that's already increasing my my replenishment rate, so if I go into the actual time, it's probably because I made this, didn't I? Yeah, 10% replenishment. It's helping a lot. Okay. I guess we're just gonna have to hope that we don't get attacked for a little bit. Uh, we also have a better weapon. Nine resolve. Currently you've got a weapon that gives you six resolve, so I guess it is an upgrade. Um, no one else can use you, I guess. You already have this twin Marshall G. And that's probably best for you. Look at this fucking angry face, like, I don't wanna be here! <laughs> Oh yeah, we got a better mount as well. We did get another one to give away. That's gonna go to you then. Um, or do I give it to you? Who's gonna be my duelist? I mean, again, actually, what do you do? Excels inspiring troops and firing at range, but weaker in melee. Okay, so or fighting in, at range. I think Hu Yi is just a really strong healer for some reason. Okay, so this is your duelist, engaging enemy generals and highly skilled foes, but easily overwhelmed. So yeah, this is your this is your. Um, your champion. This is the guy you want to have fighting generals. This is the guy you want to have fighting units. And this is the guy he would want to just kind of have sitting at the back. 
So he doesn't necessarily need to have finding things. That said, I can still give him a better weapon until I need to give it to someone else, I guess. Uh, so that's fine. So I probably wouldn't mind having Zhuhi in this army, but I'm not going to replace either of these guys for Zhuhi right now. Plus, again, I kind of like this setup because, again, two veterans makes some sense too because you, you kind of need a veteran to get your cavalry. But then again, maybe a scholar could get better cav as well. So that's not all. It's not a be a be all end all kind of deal. Anyway, what have I done? Um, I'm gonna end the turn. Is what I'm gonna do. Dongzhou, are you gonna show up yet? Not yet. Oh fuck me, Han Sui is showing up though. That's a pretty shit army now. Well, I don't know if it's shit. It could be very good, but it's a very small army. Is what it is. I can't reach him. Shang Yan declared war on Yellow Term Rebellion. Got Dao Chan has popped up, so Dong Zhou is not going to last much longer. Although they have nerfed his death, I think, in the in the beta patch I'm currently using. He dies. Uh, he sometimes dies later now, which I still don't think is necessarily a good thing because his whole point is that he dies early on. That's like, that. Why would they change that, right? This guy's gonna fucking leave soon. I don't really want him to leave, as unhappy as he is. He's pretty good. Oh, it's still at 100% character salary, even at pupil. Okay. Yeah, I don't really want him to leave, so I'm gonna have to probably just recruit him somewhere, just as a, as a general. Just to have him have a purpose, really. Unless I can get my devotion up. Does this give me... Um... Assignment. I can give him an assignment. I don't currently have any assignments. Yeah, okay, so that could be that could help. I need to get my uh, I need to get six more. Okay. Don't know how I'm gonna be able to get six more though. Oh these ones don't give any. The minor buildings don't give anything for you. Okay, interesting. All right, well you I was going that way to replenish, but I need to go back and deal with him. <sighs> my replenishment goes down again. I don't like it. I know you're fucking unhappy. I know this place is unhappy too. There's not much I can do about it right now. Uh, literally, actually, don't have anything to do. So, yeah, let's get a move on. He's fucking off again. I assume I can't reach him. Nope. Liu Yan declared war on Jia Long. That's somewhere in the south. In fact, Liu Yan is that not this guy? Yeah, it is. Uh, mission issued, reach faction rank healed. Wait, did I reach the other one? I guess I did. I don't know how I managed to do that, but I did it. I'm balanced now, was I? Yeah, yeah, okay, cool. Uh, which means that I'm assuming I'm going to get a mission succeed. No, wait, this is another one. Send any character on assignment. Well, we're going to do that right away. We've got a noble sword from it too. Challenge issued, build a scholar's lodge. Okay, virtue increases balanced. There you go, there's the mission completion. Didn't level up yet though. Um, but that's still nice. And we got another character. Heavenly Reason, Faction Developments. That's our, okay, that's a reform being done, right. Okay, hold on. So first of all, assignment. What can we do exactly? I could probably send all these people on assignment. Public Order plus 12. Okay, that's actually really good. Promote Wisdom. Not available as you not required. Reform. The same with that one. So we can, uh, oh, the construction costs, construction time and building upkeep one is really solid too. Food from farming, right, we probably do need far food at some point. Um, food production, faction-wide from assignments, okay, so that's actually quite good as well. Who is the person we just recruited? I think it is Zhu Yu, isn't it? Yeah, he's new. He's also a legendary, apparently. So he's actually, a, he must be a legendary character from history then, because he doesn't have any skills anywhere near legendary. He's a monk, okay. Sure, um, yeah, he's got some... Bound item too, but then again, her item is bound too. I guess everyone's basic item is bound, so that doesn't really matter. He, he did come with an item. You don't really need that though. So you can give that back, you fiend. Um, Alright, so let's send some assignment. Let's send some people on assignment. So I guess our major place. This is where we need happiness. I think right now we need, we're going to go for that one. So that should get rid of his lack of purpose, I assume. Maybe next turn. I'm not sure if that takes a turn to come in or not. And then we've got one more assi assignment slot. We can still get the construction cost and construction time reduction. Or we can get income from commerce, silk, and spice. We do have income from silk here. 75% would actually add up to a fair amount right now. So it would be 125. 
How much is a 70%? 75%? 75% of 125 is... I don't know, it's about... 100 or so, I think. A little bit less. Um, this is really useful if we need the food. We're going to always do that anyway. I like the construction cost reduction and the construction time reduction. But I think until we have actual money... Then again, that's really cheap to upgrade. Oh, we need this to level 4, right. Okay, let's just do the other one. Let's just do this one, uh, this one first. That's for uh, 15 turns, okay. Go on then. Now the question is, do we go chasing him down? Is the clay rat from that guy appearing, okay. Assignments. Built a building. Okay. Do we have any more? I don't think we have any more diplom diplomatic options. We can form a coalition now with He Yi and Wang Xiao. Maybe. Can also negotiate, but there's not much I can do there. As long as, as long as I, as long as I can't get trade, there's just not much I can do. Well, actually, not too bad on that one, but I don't know how useful that would really be. If we, we would just be like, well, we wouldn't be pulled into wars in the east, but it probably wouldn't make other people like me more in any way, shape, or form. So that's not bother with that. Uh, I will actually check if there's any peace I can make. Probably not. Nope. All right. Now, the thing is, yeah, do I chase him down? I kind of want to. The problem being that if I do, um, <laughs> I could very easily get attacked from the side. But I think I will try. I'll start by chasing him down and see what happens. I guess. Um, got a reform to choose for, uh, from. Okay. So, what do I want to get? So we can get these ones as well. Now. So let's have a look. These take do take longer now. Public order, faction wide, not bad. Loads of buildings, so we don't really have building requirements right now. Replenishment's not bad. Food from farming, that's pretty good. Well, we don't have any food right now, so that's pretty irrelevant. Most of these are actually just that. I think the campaign movement range is going to be what I'll choose now. Uh, population growth not really required at the moment. Yeah, we'll go for that one. That's pretty useful at the moment. Alright, so you're still pissed off. Next turn you're going to be on assignment. Well, you're on assignment now, but I guess it'll take a turn. Uh, okay, let's continue on, I guess. I almost want Lubu to show up right now, just so I can't get trapped by him. Are you going to fucking go all the way over there? Are you going to be a little bitch? Okay, that seemed to help a little bit, but didn't it didn't reduce his lack of purpose. Yellow attack for Turban Rebellion is dead, okay. Uh, oh yeah, we got that item, which is good. Probably actually give that to that guy. Recruit and maintain 30 units. Wow. Okay, military great axe, sure. Uh, we got that noble sword, right. I think that's going into your hands anyway. Uh, although, actually, is it? It is definitely worse on the damage. Increases melee attack rate. But I think that 9 expertise is just too important, so I don't think it's going to go into his hands at all, actually. Mostly because he already has a good weapon. You have that G. Okay, can you actually? Can anyone even use that sword besides him? No, it doesn't look like it, so... Fair enough. Alright, I'm tempted to pull him out of his assignment so I can recruit him here in Voodoo. Because if this guy's going to Voodoo, he's actually taking attrition right now. What the fuck's he doing? Do I just go and attack his town? The thing is, that's a level 4 town, which means I'm going to be fucked on food if I take that. And I have no way of getting more food, unless I go south, I think. Yeah, there's a livestock farm here. Toolmaker. I don't think it's over here. This is all mountainous area, but there's a lot of food down in this, these regions here, I think. Um, Loads of people to recruit, at least. Yeah, I don't really want to take that. I mean, we can save ourselves with that assignment, so that's something, but... I'm still not fully replenished, and the problem is, if I go that way and Lubu does show up from over here, I'm just f so fucked immediately. Still gonna do it, though. See ya. Chase me if you want. <laughs> if you want to go and attack one of these places, I think we'd be alright. Garrisons are a bit fucked, but... I'm gonna pull that guy back from his assignment. 
him, which I do require the happiness, to be honest. Hostile forces is fucking me over as well now. Um, yeah, if he goes towards my horse pastures, I'm not sure if I'd be able to hold him back, but I guess I could probably run back in there. Well, if he takes it, fuck it, I'll take it back from him. Yeah, alright, I'm not going to pull him back just yet. Um, I've got a cheeky thing. I've got a feeling he's going to run back now anyway, though. Right, do I upgrade it again? It's actually still cheaper. Still takes the same amount of time. I really want to upgrade this. I could wait a turn and upgrade this, but again, the food would fuck me. I have no way of getting more food. I can't trade for food right now either. You have to increase money from silk, so I guess we'll do that right now. I guess I can build a, a food building if I do that. How long would that take? Just a regular farming building would give me one food. It takes one turn. That one takes two turns. I could sped it, speed it up by spending money on it. I don't really want to build food buildings here, though. But again, we're taking this level four talent, so we're just gonna. What we'll have to do is just use that. Um, his assignment, I think it was. To um. To just get an extra, whatever it was, six food or something, five food. We'll see. Um. Kind of wondering now that I'm moving towards his his town, would he take peace? But no, apparently not. I'd really love to be able to trade with him, but I can't. Oh my goodness, alright, well, I kind of saw that happening, didn't I? It's just, uh, kind of problematic, there's two armies there. Xiongxiongliehuozhuotian,一会有熄灭殆尽之时,气绝而火熄,余下的不过是碧波作响而已。Alright, Dong Zhou is dead. And Dong Min has taken over. See, so yeah, I kind of have a problem here. If he if they take that town, which they will do. I can't like I could I could fight either army, uh, like one at a time, and I'd possibly be able to be able to win, but both at the same time. I don't see that happening. Either way, though. No. Uh, okay, I'd have to force march back if I want to be able to get back there next turn. So how far can you reach? Not far enough. You could attack me, but you're not going to. So that's all right. Okay. Um, no point pulling that guy back from his assignment now. If he goes south towards the Silk Trader, I'd be even more fucked. But then again, if he were to take that, I'd be able to take it back next turn. So that at least gives me a 1v1 against Lu Bu. We're almost bankrupt, so I don't think I can really spend the money right now. And I guess I'll keep that guy on assignment here. This doesn't even have walls, so... Actually, you know what? This is a Silk Trader anyway, so it doesn't matter. If he does go this way, I'll probably cancel this upgrade though and build something else because it'd be a waste of money. Let's find out, I guess. There's not a whole lot else I can do. Okay, so they're gonna take that. I have night battles though, so I can actually take the, the town back first. Uh, I got a couple units of cavern here. You know what? I'm actually gonna fight this one, try and kill as many archers as possible here. And then I should be. I, I well, unless he's got a night attack as well, which I don't know if he does, but I can take back the town from Tsai Yang, and then I'll have to actively defend it against Lu Bu on the next turn again. So this could work out if I can kill a whole bunch of archers right now. Oh fuck! This is an unwalled settlement though, Ugh, which means I'm gonna be able to defend it against <laughs> Lu Bu. Um. But it doesn't gonna it's it's not gonna help me at all basically, so that's kind of shit. Well, the other, and also that probably means he's not gonna go for the attack. No, he's waiting for his reinforcements. Okay, well that sucks. I'm not gonna be able to do anything here essentially. Um. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm still gonna try and kill off as many archers as possible. Keep my cap together. Just no point just them up. All right, just come and attack me. He's not going to do that, though. Yeah, if this was a vault sediment, I'd, I'd 
give myself a pretty solid chance of being able to pull through here. Being able to first kill off a couple of archers. That's a nice formation, by the way. Protecting every archer by, with one unit. Oh, this has given up on that formation now. Uh, but yeah, I, I would be able to kill off a couple archers here. And then I'd be able to take the town back next turn with a night battle. And then I would have to defend the town against Lu Bu's army. But the problem being... Where's that unit going? Well, gives me one chance. Keep one unit to kill at least. What the fuck? Um, are you wavering already? Oh my goodness, what the fuck? Overwhelming forces, I guess. Forces outnumbered by the enemy, yeah. Um, anyway, yeah, so yeah, I, 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 yeah, I, I think I, that would be possible, but now I'm not gonna be able to do anything. I can kill off this archer unit, but maybe kill another one somewhere. Send more of those units. One, just send one unit at a time, every single time. He's not. <laughs> we we've killed that one unit, and now he's no longer wavering. At least, he's no. He's not that much outnumbered anymore. We lost like four units on the way there. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Well, not cool, but it looks it looks interesting at least. Um. I think I might even put my archers up front. No. I don't know. Nah, I don't know. I don't know what's smart here. There's not really a whole lot I can do, to be honest. Oh, they are in forced march stance, though. Ooh. I wonder if that means I don't attack the army in the town. I don't even know if I could reach it, but I attack Lu Bu's army instead, because he's in forced march stance. That might be the answer, if I could reach him, which I don't think I can. <sighs> I need to run further back. Should use this natural defense right here. I can still do that actually. Not really much I can do here. Just triple speed it for a bit. Kind of tempted to charge over here towards these units. Again, if I can kill like one or two more arch units, I'll actually feel somewhat satisfied with it because I'll have done something. Fuck it. There's no point running around backwards constantly. Uh, one of you. I'm gonna attack them. One of you go over here. Kinda wanna attack here, but if I do that, then these guys are just gonna fire at me the whole time and I won't be able to even get there. No uh, loose formation I can use. Oh my god, you're gonna fucking route before I even get there, aren't you? This is too many units firing at me. Okay. Luckily, because this is all going to happen in the next turn, anything I kill will actually help me. They shouldn't have any replenishment yet. Straight into that fucking G Militia unit. Probably also should try and actually... Maybe the unit routes. Try and pull out of there. Maybe I can do some more. Probably not, though. If, I think that if I, if I pull out, I just... Pull out. <laughs> If I pull out, I'm just going to immediately die is the problem. Because my morale will drop from being having my back turn against the enemy, essentially. The morale does... or the fire arrows don't help either. Yeah, that unit's running already. This one I might be able to actually do some more damage with. We're being attacked here as well now. Damn it. Heavy Julian cavalry as well. It's not even a weak one, it's actually the strong one. Okay, well, everything is riding now, it's not much I can do anymore. Well, I learned at least this isn't a walled, or not walled, but a, uh, a, de a defensive settlement. We uh, killed off a archer unit and we did a significant amount of damage to one or two more. Not quite what I jumped into this battle to do, but. Perhaps still enough. The question will be... How much can I do on this following turn? He's still in Force Mars stance. Hansu wants peace. Can we get anything else? No, we can't. Um, I don't really want peace of him necessarily, but I would rather get peace of Dong Zhou. And then, I, well, to be fair, I want a piece of everyone around here and go south because I need food. But 
Uh, yeah, I'll take this for now, actually. At least get hit him off my back. So now the question is, can I attack Lu Bu? Can I reach him? Ugh, I can't. But I can not reach the town either. Please tell me I can reach the town. Wait, why is it like... Acts of worship, this is why. The Tai Ping Jing teaches us the world is in perpetual chaos. Balance can only be found by cultivating our inner Tao. Under the gaze of heaven, incense is burned, sermons sung, and music played. Those around us are filled with vigor and belief in the cause and look to you to lead them in worship. Okay. Uh, morale for my army, public order for local commandery, food production for local commandery, or monies. Uh, I think... This one is useless. This one seems good, but I'm in enemy territory right now. I only need the happiness there, but I'm actually okay there anyway, so... And right now I I need morale, so actually bless our generals, yeah. Alright, please... I still can't actually reach, are you kidding me? I can, okay, thank god. The question is, can I make it a night battle? Does he have the night battle trait or not? I have no idea. I guess not. I don't think he gets that as a vanguard. Uh, he would though, fuck. So night battle doesn't work. The only thing here that... I mean, I, I think I still have to go for it. I could try and run away and back off, etc. All the way back here and try and make a stance, but... The thing is, we have him in... Even though I have to fight this and the small garrison as well... We at least have him in Force March stance. Which will help us. So it's gonna be a battle of... Well, we win, or, we win this one or we lose the campaign, essentially. Um, is there anything else I can do here to make this any more in my favor? At least the generals are basically fully healed. He's slightly off, and these guys are a bit off. And so are these archers, actually. If my army is at least fully healed, would be great, but that's not even the case either. Do I switch his weapon back? F to a, uh... Oh no, that's already being used by someone else anyway. I could change it all around, but... Um... I think that's all I can do, which is nothing. So yeah, making a night battle, it still helps me. Wait, oh, Lubu doesn't actually join in. Okay, so even though he has the night battle trait, he still doesn't want to actually join in. The Okay, so I actually have a legitimate choice to make now, which is... Do I night battle it right now, kill him off one at a time, but that would mean Lubu is not going to be in force, in force March stance anymore in March stance, so his army isn't going to be super tired. Or do I fight them all at the same time now, his army will be tired, but I have, to, I have to fight them all. I don't know. This is actually kind of an interesting question. I could also... No, starving him out is the, hor the worst idea, because then we'll sally out with not being in tired anymore. I actually almost kind of wished he did join in if I night battled it, because that way he would still have the minus 50 morale as well. Not receive any reinforcements. That's weird, because I thought if they had the night battle trade themselves, they would still be able to reinforce. Oh god, what a decision this is. Do I fight this one now? Do I do it in two sections, but I have to fight Lubu's army while he's not in force march stance, and he's gonna have better units, and he's gonna have Lubu. And I ha I'm going to be slightly wounded. Or do I fight them all at the same time? But his army will be in forced march stance. But these units will still be okay. And that's that's still a fair amount of units here. I think I'm going to do the... I'm going to fight them separately. I'm not even sure if I want to... Delegate this one or fight it myself. Because I actually don't know what, I would, what would be smart. How would I lose less men? Uh, it's not, a, it's not, yeah, there's no towers or anything to fight, and I have a massive archer advantage, so it probably is better to just fight this one manually. Alright, I can at least dictate where the losses are. So I'm doing it this, like this. What a choice. I kind of wish I didn't have a choice. Because then I can't feel like I made the wrong one. But we'll see. 
Uh, we only have Vanguard deployment on some arm, uh, some units, so let's not do that. Here we are again, the corpses of our men. <laughs> Still littering the ground. Um, okay. I, will, I do have a massive range advantage, so I think I will be using that. Let's actually just put our archers up front. I'm not even going to use this right now, I don't think. You have the Guardians of the Land, but they're good, but not insanely good or anything. If I try and skirmish with you guys, do you have um, the ability to fire all around you? Actually, I can just hover over. Yeah, you do, actually. That's good. Maybe I'll just put you up here and start firing at them. Um, cavalry. I'll keep you guys on one side, I think. And my healer man. He does have that massive minus morale debuff that I gotta remember to use. Alright, so here they are. I'm actually gonna send you guys in right away, I think. Maybe not. Does anyone want to duel you? Yes, this guy does. Sentinel. Fire at them while running away. Uh, if the Sentinel wants to duel you, I don't know who's better at dueling, to be honest, but let's do you. Yes. Although, hold on, I'm gonna run back while I, before I accept that one. Okay, the cows all on this side, but a bit late with moving this one around, I think. Still gonna try it though. Is my cows gonna be? Oh, okay. I totally forgot to accept it, but it gets accepted automatically anyway, so that's fine. I think you're gonna go out and just start killing units. I'm tempted to use that, use you for that as well. Okay, you're uh, winning so far. Good shit. Just get in there. Okay. Time to get my spear line up front. Oh no! He's just gonna click it and then. Fuck you charging before, boy. Okay, at least the cow's kind of running up front, letting me shoot them. That's very kind of them. Time for you guys to get around here since their cow is all up in my grill now. Come on, kill him in 27 seconds. We get some good old buffs as well. Use that special ability. Boom. Knock that guy off his horse. 16 seconds to kill him. Come on. Got some running going on. That's good. Uh, he's not going to win in 7 seconds, is he? Unless he gets some really big hit right now, which he can do, to be fair. That is within his vocabulary, but not today. He's probably still going to get all of his HP back from this one now, I think we'll be okay. Okay, we have actually almost won this one already. See, it is a settlement battle. They definitely weren't properly braced yet. Hopefully I don't lose too many events on my own archers, I'm pretty sure I lost like 9 dudes there. How are you still not won yet? What is happening here? Yeah, I lost uh, quite a few men there, I think, to my own. How? Come on, man! One good hit. We have won this one. And we didn't lose much at all. We lost a couple of our, art our cavalry. I don't think we lost any infantry, which is very important in this one. Also, I get some replenishment after this battle. That's probably actually another reason I should have done it like this, which is a good choice. What is happening? <laughs> you were gonna get all of your HP back from this one. I'm starting to think maybe you won't now. Come on. There we go. Finally. Alright, how much HP? Okay, he's almost back to full. Thank goodness. Alright, we don't have to finish them off because it's a town. Decides to victory. Alright. I wonder how much we lost there. It really wasn't much. Guarantee that much. Please give me like 50% replenishment. <laughs> As if that's gonna happen. Ah, oh, fuck. One thing I didn't realize actually is that if I take this town, Lubu might just siege me out and then I run into that problem that we talked about before. That's a lot of money. Uh, I don't get any. It's a town, so I, got, I don't get any replenishment actually. 
But we'd run, if we run into that problem where he could siege me out, and I would actually take attrition immediately on my next turn, which sucks. A second withdraw it? Probably not. Uh, yeah, this doesn't cost me any money, so go on then. Another person who could be pissed off at me. Level up for you. Alright, we need to do something that helps me in fighting right now. Uh, that's own retinue. Armor for your own retinue. You have all the spears though, don't you? Uh, no, you have all the cav, right? So we don't necessarily care too much about that. Speed for his own retinue, that's useful for the cavalry. We also have the melee evasion buff, that's pretty solid. I think we go for that one. Or the nature's ally, but no, I don't care about that much about that. I think we go for the melee evasion buff. Makes him a better duelist. Not that he's going to really take on <laughs> um, Lu Bu, but... Oh, fuck, how do I even... How do I even take, a Lu, take Lu Bu on? I need, I need Zhu He. Z Zhu He. Um, is this the best choice? It probably still is the best choice, though, let's be honest. I like the speed, but I think right now melee evasion is more important than speed. I'll take that one. So he's currently, he's only got 7 melee evasion, okay, so he's not a particularly good duelist. The ability would, oh, he's actually got 27%, so then with the ability, death, 77. Probably still not enough, though. He's not full HP either. Well, his, his army isn't, but it's not really enough. The problem is, if he sieges me out, I just get fucked. Do I spend money right now replacing these two units? They would become a little bit weaker, but I would have two more melee cav rather than ranged cav. I think for the moment I'm okay with it. Zhang uh, Kai, friends. Friends. Feather fan. Morale for militia units. It's very fucking irrelevant. Wait, why can't you use that? Oh, it's the guy who just came into my force. Tao Chi. He's got it, yeah. Okay. These people are happy at least. Got a lot of fucking people in my uh, faction right now. This is like way too many people, in fact. Alright, do I still have both assignments right now? Did I cancel one of them? No, I didn't. Okay, so that's still going. Uh, one thing I could do, but here's the problem. I don't know if the AI is smart enough. What I, one thing I could do is just recruit free generals. Uh, is he? No, these guys aren't part of my faction, so I guess it would have to be two generals. Um, just recruit two generals, and then just just so I have just so literally so I have two more generals in the fight. The problem, and I guess a couple more units as well. But the problem with that is that if I do that, um, I guess I could actually recruit free if I did that, but. Is that he has night battles available, so if he's smart, he would just kill my two generals off, and that's it. Like, he would just kill him off. I could, I guess I could, I could wound Liu Bu, uh, Liu Bu even. Liu Bu. <laughs> um, especially if I get the Scholar, because the Scholar would actually be able to deal with him, well, not well, he'd still lose super hard, but he might be able to do something at least. It's not just him as well. It's just this legendary goddamn sentinel here who's incredibly good as well. There's no way we can beat this guy either. How the fuck are we going to do this? Well, I'm not going to bother upgrading that right now. I, I need, like, I, I feel like I need to spend the money. I need to make this as good as possible, so I think I am going to recruit a couple. Just, I think uh, I'll just recruit these two veterans, really. If they get killed by Lu Bu, fuck it, right? At least I'll have done something. I can I can charge him in there and just do a little bit of damage. I'd I'd like to get the scholar just so I have an extra duelist, but I think I'm gonna do this. If I run him behind the town, he might not even be able to reach me. And I guess I'll use the four units too. Why not? Do I even recruit more? I guess I can recruit. I, no, I don't have the money. I could cancel something and recruit a. How much money would that give me? Uh, which was this? This is up to level 3. This one's 3 grand. Fuck, I have no idea. I can't see it right now. Uh, probably like 22, let's say 2 grand. It might be more, but... 2 grand would bring me up to... Uh, 
I'd still only be able to recruit that one, unless it's 2500, in which, I, which case I'll be able to recruit him, but it's... I, I would go bankrupt immediately, so it doesn't help. In fact, I'd, yeah, I can't recruit anything else. This is it. This is just going to be... This is going to be it. We're going to have to make do. Let's hope he doesn't use night battles, or that he can't reach my army, or that he fucks off, but I honestly don't know if that's good or not, because then we'd still have to deal with him later anyway. Let's find out. Nope, he's going for it. Wait, dude, was he still in Force March stance? He can't attack while he's in Force March stance, but he certainly had the icon next to him still. It's only barely um, in... It's it's a valiant defeat, so... Pyrrhic victory for him, essentially. Uh, we are fighting out in the field, but that doesn't change anything, because that's what it was going to be like anyway. <sighs> okay, so let's have a proper look at his army. We have an archer advantage, barely. He's got four units of cav, five units of cav against my four, which are two of which are ranged cav, so that kind of sucks. I'm gonna have to lure his cav in before I can really do much. A um, couple of units of G militia, a couple of units of spear guards, a couple of units of saber militia. The thing is, the army could be whatever the fuck he wants it to be, right? Some of these units are really good, but that does, that's not even the problem. It's the fact that it's Lu Bu and Zhang Liao. And Zurong as well. Not that he's particularly special, but he's still a champion. Not a strategist. Like, I'd rather I have a strategist, because the strategist I can just kill really easily. But, I have five dudes, so I gotta remember that. I did recruit these guys, so at least I have a couple more. And at least he didn't siege me out, so I didn't take any attrition. Alright, let's do it. At least he didn't night battle. There's many things that went in my favor here, so I, I honestly don't have much to complain. The I guess the main complaint I do have, actually, is that my... My army is going to come from the wrong fucking side, isn't it? Because uh, he attacked me kind of... Well, I guess it's going to come from a side, yeah. It's kind of towards him, though. So I might have to abandon my two... My four units here. To run to my actual army ASAP. No fucking features on the map that are going to help me or him either. So that's probably a good thing. Alright, main thing is running you guys over there, and then you guys. It'd be nice to have these four units, but I'm really not that bothered about that. <laughs> it's just having these two extra dudes, both have the immobilized for 10 seconds. Oh, I can immobilize units for, 10 sec for 20 seconds if I do that. That's actually pretty solid. Okay, let's uh, start lining up the forces. My archers up front. Oh, there's a couple fucking garrison units in eh, whatever, they can sneak in there too. I really need all the actual archers though. There. Oh, they're in weird formation as well now. And all the random units. This is where I need to use groups. Okay, they're... I don't know where they're going, but that might just be where they're coming from. Let's not get distracted right now. Spears. Behind. You here. You here. Got a couple units of extra, well, a couple men of extra calf. Not really a huge deal, but let's pop them over there. Range calf, start skirmishing, I guess. Maybe I can kill, like, something like that off. would be great. What am I missing? A couple of the reinforcement shitty units. And you. Alright, you can come back here. You guys can help out on this flank. That's fine. Together with those units. Actually, I'll probably just use you to fill gaps wherever necessary, which there's definitely going to be gaps of fucking Lubu in that army. Um, you need to go over there, and you need to go over there. Morale, I need to remember to use that morale debuff. I didn't use it at all last time. And that's it. Okay. Got our army set up. Kind of. Uh, okay, apparently we'd win against these guys, which seems unlikely to me, but we'd lose against him. If we survive, we gain respect. Great. Don't think I want to try that. <laughs> it's too risky. If I had a sentinel guy, or like a scholar, I would probably do it. Just for the chance of doing, just the chance of actually doing something. Do those guys have shields? They do not. I think they have high armor levels, but they don't have shields, so I could shoot them. 
They're one of their best units, I think. Alright, now let's see who wants to duel you. Everyone except for... Liu Bu wants to duel. Okay, well that's something. He's not a duelist, though, of course. Of course he's not a duelist. I mean, <laughs> who doesn't realize this? Okay, I don't want to fire the Saber Militia. So let's actually just fuck off from that. Don't do it. Don't waste your ammo. If that champion comes over, if he, if he follows me all the way over here... Wait, where are my two other boys? Oh, fuck me, I moved you over here. Pretty annoying if I just kind of forgot about them. <laughs> Danny just forgot about the uh, Iron Fleet. Let's go over here, I actually have some units I can shoot there. Alright, follow me, Mr. Zurong. Kinda of tempted to duel him, but he's a champion. You're equal, which means that he can't be much better. Oh, there's Lu Bu. Shrunk him down, boys. Okay. I don't really want them to waste their ammo or shoot their ammo at my uh, calf, so let's get the fuck out of there as well. Um, where's all their calf? Cavs over here, cause a couple of cavs over there, cause they've got cav everywhere, so I can't really do anything about that. Hey, it's time for you guys to make your fucking acquaintance with the exits. Okay, I'm mainly to use my save ability. Fuck off, Liu uh, Lubu. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's actually really good. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna stay right here. What if we four man against Lu Bu? Surely we'll fucking beat him. But I need to bring him closer to my line. Oh my god, a chunk out of fucking... Jesus Christ. Okay, use the other one. Oh no, why can't I use it? I'm engaged to me melee. Okay, I need to get him out of there. I need to use that, to use that ability now. Fuck, he's being chased. I need to be able to use it. Oh god damn it, it was there. Okay. Jesus Christ, we're getting wrecked. The melee evasion buff cavalry. Go fuck this shit enough. Uh I need to get my line up front. Fuck me. Kinda messed that up, didn't I? Ooh, and you guys got caught. Well you guys go help out there. You as well. You just get in there. You go around the flank. And you don't need all the cav over there. Let's get in here. You're doing a bit shit. Any abilities? Yes, you, 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 you. Minus 50% or minus 50 morale. I need to use it. Arch is getting kind of fucked. Not you. There's another archer here that I'm kind of forgetting about. There we go. Uh, what a mess. What a mess this battle's become already. Get over there. Zurong against Gongdu. Gongdu is on half HP. Zurong is. A little bit over. Fuck it, do it. Okay, Lubu is barely hurt at all so far. Tao Chi. No, I can do that one. Get out of there. I need my cab in there, is what I need. My cabs are all stuck over here now. Just try and get in there, and this unit will hopefully keep the units away from you. Get my lines into there. This, like, if I can get a charge in there, it'd be so good. Any special abilities I can use? Get the melee buff again. Uh, Tao Chi. No. Although that would keep Lubu away from my line, which might be worth it, to be honest. Okay, you managed to get there. Perfect. You need to get out of there as well. Anything to keep the archers busy is great. Okay, you're about to win that jewel. Get your ability again as well. I think the only way we're gonna really win this one is if we just have a mass round happen. He's gone mad. Any more special abilities? You're a fucking Tsang Liao against Tao Chi. Nah, no, I don't care about the Sentinel too much. If Lu Bu uh, challenges me again, I think I might take it, but. Fucking kill him! 
you guys, are you not firing at anything? Fire at something. Hello, cav unit, just doing nothing. Maybe get over here and do something. Does anyone want to duel you? Nope. Okay, that charge is going to help a lot. I'm not really looking at... I'm just looking at winning this one, right? I'm not looking at how many units can survive this fight. As long as I can keep my generals alive, that'd be great, but... It's not even, like, what I need to have happen. I just need to win this fight. That's the most important thing. So I'm not actually caring about who's who right now. I don't care if someone's a garrison unit or not. I just need to win this. Okay, I need to bring my archers back again because I kind of fucked that up. Everyone is running. I think actually we killed most of the generals. Well, we killed one of the generals, in fact. Not most. I need to keep that guy busy. I need to charge you in here. Now I think... Let's just take all of you and fucking attack Lubu, please. Do I have any more abilities? Yes, the melee evasion one. Cool down on that. Oh, actually, I have that one available again. Yeah, just use it. I don't know what we're immo immobilizing, but... Lubu, apparently. Okay, that guy's about to route. He has indeed routed. So we, if I can kill Lubu off, that'd be fucking fantastic. And actually, I'm going to chase this guy off to the end of the earth as well. and kill him off too. Even better. Lubu's fucking down. Alright, we won. <sighs> okay. Happy man I am. I'm pretty sure we did it with... Uh, respectable losses too. I don't feel like I lost so much that we can't like immediately go on the, on the offensive. I need some replenishment, obviously, but... Having taken care of that army is going to make uh, things a lot easier for the moment. Now I need to make sure I kill him off. Sending all my archers out to go do other shit. Fucking hell, I don't even know what happened in that battle. That was one of those battles where I literally just... There was too much happening at the same time that I was just kind of trying to go around and do as much useful thing... Or as many useful things as possible. <laughs> Three and one. Oh, they've not routed yet. That's impressive. Um... Yeah, I was literally just like, it wasn't even about like, normally I, I meticulously choose who's going to attack who. But in this one it really was, okay, you're in a vicinity, just fucking get in there, do something. And just going around the battlefield trying to order as many useful things as possible, essentially. Well, whatever the case, we're going to be able to finish this off right away. This is his turn, so we're going to take a turn of replenishment as well. That immobilizing, holy fuck, that's useful. I didn't, I didn't, oh, you're, that's why you're so slow. I was wondering why you were so slow. Our men flee the battlefield, so that's unfortunate. Oh, it was those two units of one and three men. The one I just said. Yeah, these ones right here. I just <laughs> I just said I was impressive that you hadn't routed yet. Alright, I really just want to kill Zhang Liao, although I'm not sure if we'll even be able to, because these guys just aren't doing enough damage right now. To be fair, if he runs off, we can just kill him afterwards. When he's low HP, so that's not even that's necessarily a bad thing. Oh, he routed too. Uh, is he dying at all? Nah, fuck it. Let's, um, well, it's free damage right now. Let's get you over there. Although, the edge of the map is right there, so I'm not sure if he'll even be able to reach anymore. Nah, fuck it. So let him do as much damage as possible. And then we'll end it. Close victory. Yeah, I think that's probably fair in this particular case. He's got 116 men left. He still killed 509 men. I'm pretty sure I lost a couple of units, but nothing I can really be too sad about, to be honest. Get the fuck out of here, Lubu. Loot boy. Alright, he's obviously not dead yet, but uh, Zhu Rong is. This guy's got some extra HP, right? How many units did I lose? Just the one. And a couple in here, but these guys literally just recruited them to. <laughs> to help out a little bit, and they fucking did. I think that might have actually be what won me the battle here, to be honest. Okay, uh, I, I I need replenishment, but the replenishment is only going to be in this force. It's not going to be on this one. So I'll take the sixteen hundred bucks here, seventeen hundred bucks almost. Don't run away too far, you bit. Oh fuck me! You're kidding me. <laughs> Maybe I can peace out. Uh, ooh, there's my extra movement range. I believe it was. Good omen, public order. Oi, Liu Bei. Oh, uh, sorry, not Liu Bei, you. Oh, that's never gonna happen, alright. Maybe if I kill off that other, other force, though. Or this force, I mean. Can't run there, can I? You can get very fucking close, but I can't quite get there. Um, 
That's okay though. I think we kill off this guy and then we kind of go into the vicinity of this. I can do quite a bit of damage with this garrison. Unfortunately, I will have to cancel this building now. Because I'm not going to be able to get it done in time. So it's just, it's not worth. I could have. No. Yes. Ah, fuck. I should have clicked the finish. Like, I should have spent money on finishing the building. It would have been like 500 bucks or something. Oh my god. Wait. Where's the safe? Cheeky fucking. When was this? 1226? Yeah, that was a minute ago. Alright, I'm going to be a bit cheesy. <laughs> it's just a small mistake. I know it's kind of cheesy reloading a save, especially on Legendary Difficulty, where I only have the auto save. but I think um, it's one of those features I haven't considered at all yet, so I want to I want to consider it more. The thing is, the reason why I, I was like, okay, this actually, it might be a bad idea to do it, but it cannot, it's a good idea, and then it's a bad idea as well. Because if I do this... Um, my garrison will obviously get bigger, which is nice. Actually, it doesn't even get bigger, does it? It just gets different. It gets two different units. Yellow Turban Spearmen, as opposed to Yellow Turban Warriors. <laughs> um, so yeah, it doesn't actually matter that much, but I'll still do it now because I've, I've reloaded the save. Because if it got a bigger garrison, which I, I obviously thought it would do, then I would have more units to defend against the enemy. Oh, and they're fucking half dead now. Oh my god, never mind. I'm going back. <laughs> I'm going back to my original plan. I learned now that this is not the way to go. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, this is the cheesiest shit I've ever done. Okay, I've learned. This this was for science, all right? This was for science. Just accept that. This was necessary to learn things about the game that I didn't know previously. Apparently, the entire fucking garrison resets. Okay, I'm not. I'm cancelling this building. The original plan was the right one. <laughs> See, I knew I should have just. I should have. I should have listened to myself. All right, I think you guys are getting fired again. Uh, because I need the money. Well, really, I could just fire the units, I guess. Keep these two guys just running around as two dudes running around killing people. That's their goal. They're just free generals, hopping about the place. They even like this guy, although he's not part of my faction, so I don't want to recruit him. Um. Now I'll just, uh, just recall them both. Get my income back up. I should have actually waited. I should have cured this first and then tried to go for peace again. I don't think I would have been able to get there right away, though, to be fair. Alright, you're still fucking unhappy. That's whatever, dude. Let's see if I care. Um, so yeah, cancel that so we can actually... I guess I can build this up finally, or the town. I, can't, I still don't have the food, though, but... Food. I can, yeah, I'll just, yeah, whatever. We'll deal with it. Uh, go kill him off, please. He runs away. Fuck me. Oh, you're kidding me! No fucking way I can't reach him. Oh my god. It's simply because he, they always run away the same distance. But because there was a mountain in the way, he ran away basically further because he would, he, he runs. He wants to run like that, but he can't, so he has to go all the way around, which doesn't cost him any more movement, but it costs me more movement, so I can't actually get to him. Despite actually just finishing off that thing, it gives me 10% more movement range as well. You're kidding me. That's unbelievable. Alright, let's, uh, let's go for something else here. I, I do want units, but I'm not too worried about that right now. Let's get something that gives me something useful. Replenish on a mustering time. I think that's the one. Public order is not bad, but I'll take the rally to common cause. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to let that guy live. Can I get there? What the fuck? Can I even get there next turn? Is the problem? Is there a question even? Ugh, my army's actually really busted. Can I even beat him? Oh yeah, after I've taken dam like dealt damage to him, he can actually reach me, so he might even attack me. If he does, I will just run back, and I think that would be really good. The garrison here is fucked, so if he actually wants to go over there and take it, he probably could. Also, since I finished, didn't finish off the army, the entire fucking army is just going to come back soon. Ah, oh, that's so rough. Why did? He, why was he out of range? That's just so dumb. Alright, well... I got some more items, but I don't think I have anything I can give to anyone here. Oh my... If I... Oh, you're fucking kidding me. I just realized if I hadn't gotten rid of those two dudes here, they would have been able to reach, I think. 
they would have been able to reach and attack him. I would have been able to move up, attack with the other two dudes, and this army would have been dead. Oh, fuck me. Hard punish right there. Well, such is life, I suppose. Oh, that's really rough. Uh, do I upgrade this? I guess I will, actually. Go on, then. Wunderbar. Wait, do I actually do this? A thousand bucks. You know what? I will. So I have a bigger garrison to protect against that in case he does come over. Hey there, Rover. Come on over. Yeah, go on and take my town. I kind of wish he attacked my army there, but oh well. Okay, so we're going to fight this one. Hopefully do a little bit of damage to him. Again, I got some cav. If this is actually a town defense, I could at least just kill off some archers. But we'll see next time. Until then, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Until then, have a good day. Actually, we can see the map. Let's have a look if it's actually... Okay, it is a town, so we can do some damage. That's good. Until then, have a good day and goodbye.